everyone welcome back to another vlog on my channel so i decided to do a little weekly vlog this week currently today is the monday the 21st of jan it's just gone one o'clock and also look a little beatrice on my phone which is so cute anyway so i've just finished my one-to-one -one training session so the lovely lady that came for one-to-one -one training today focused mainly on nail art and we covered how to take photographs of nails as well and yeah we covered quite a lot um these are my designs that i did as kind of demo and then i'll insert now some footage and some photos of what we got up to today so yeah that's everything that we did today i didn't get much footage of when we were actually doing the training because we kind of got into it and we're having too much fun so i kind of forgot to pick up my camera can you hear beatrice Can you hear Beatrice right now? And Arthur barking. So today's one-to-one -one training went really well. We covered loads and I'm just enjoying it so much teaching one-to-one -one training. This is my third Monday of one-to-one -one training this year and I'm loving it. I can't wait for next Monday for my next one-to-one -one training session. It's gonna be so much fun. I just can't wait. So I thought I'd take you along with me this week. Hopefully as I get more into the one-to-one -one training and eventually when I start doing nail art workshops I'll be able to vlog a little bit more and show you more footage and what's going on and stuff if you would like that. But I thought I'd do another weekly vlog as my Christmas weekly vlog. Alola. As my Christmas weekly vlog you all seem to enjoy loads so I thought I'd do another. So today is Monday as I said and Mondays are training day and YouTube day. So I'm going to have my lunch now. Today's one-to-one -one training session was only a three hours so I've now got the rest of the day to hopefully get some YouTube videos filmed and edited. So I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to get my lovely mum to come in here and I'm going to film me doing her nails for an upcoming video. It will probably already be posted. If it is, I'll link it in the description box down below. Also, a little update on Beatrice. So if you're new here, Beatrice is my little doggy. She is coming up to two years old in April and she's just had surgery. So the last time I spoke to you guys, it was we were in the waiting period of when her surgery was going to be booked since then last friday so it's monday today so three days ago she had surgery on her knee she's doing really really well she was sleepy for the first few days but she's doing really well now i'll just show you her so i've got her set up so i work here and then there's a door here so i've set her little pen up because she has to stay crated so she's just down here look at her she's got to have her cone on don't you baby yeah weekly vlog it is tuesday the 22nd of jan and my hair mane is down i haven't picked up the camera yet today today's been a little bit hectic i had to take my mum to her physio appointment this morning for those of you who don't know and i don't know if i've mentioned it on here my lovely mother has just had a full knee replacement so she needs a lot of looking after and then also beatrice my little baby puppy baby doggy thing <laughs> she's just had knee surgery as well so they've, they've literally got matching scars it's hilarious so they're both looking after each other bless them 
yeah so it's been a lot of looking after and a lot of tlc for them both it's back to client work today i haven't picked up the camera yet today as i said it's just been a little bit hectic two parcels have arrived so i wanted to show you what i have just had delivered because it's really exciting also there's a couple of things else i want to show you in the salon up there i've got some new plants so gorgeous let me just show you so i wanted to get some plants in the salon for so long and i finally got round to it these are plants from ikea i got the plant pots from ikea as well and they are all fake plants because this room has literally no windows apart from those two doors with a little bit of natural light coming through there are literally no windows in here so we have to get fake plants and then i've also got a hanging plant going here and i've got a little hanging basket and then we're gonna put another plant over there to kind of balance the room out but i'm loving my new plants so anyway excuse my mane i literally haven't brushed my hair today i just shove it up in a bun when i work so my hair's very rarely down so i look a little bit like haggard at the moment anyway so i'm looking at the parcel that's just arrived so i think we should unbox it together i have yet to open it so i'm just sitting on my waiting chair over here and i'm gonna unbox it on top of my drawers that i store things from but this is a little clue as to who the parcel is from can't wait to get inside and can we just take a minute for this holographic gold packaging it's stunning so let's get inside Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. The brand that this is from is Toppers and they very kindly have sent me these bits and bobs to review on my channel and to use and to test and try out. I've heard a lot of things about them. Natasha Lee and Sarah R have done a YouTube video using these guys and as soon as I saw them I was like intrigued and I've seen them advertised in Scratch magazine so I've wanted to get my hands on these for so long so thank you so much to you guys at Toppers for sending me these. It's very very kind of you. I'm so grateful. <laughs> two little mini packages inside the big package and i don't know if i'm the only one who saves packaging like i can't throw this away it's too pretty i've got one of these crystal spatula things i'm guessing this is to stir the gels and this oh my gosh this is so cute <gasps> it's a tiny baby lamp that is adorable it's got like little legs that pop out on the bottom that is so cute oh my gosh these things are so sticky <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so this first one is Top Heart. Can you see that holographic? So what these are is top coats with sparkling, a shimmer in that you can put over the top of colours to kind of get more effects out of them. And they're a top coat. There are no wipe top coats. So you don't need to then go in with your own top coat because this is the top coat. So next one is Top Spirit. This is going to be so popular it's matte white chunky glitters that is so cool so this next one is top dream this one looks magical so what i love as well is they have the swatch of the color in the top of the bottle which is awesome so this one is top dream so this is top secret and this one is quite different to the rest this is like mermaid in a bottle you can't i don't think you're going to be able to see this it's like an iridescent bluey pearlized purpley greeny pinky shimmer it's insane that's my mini haul from toppers i can't wait to give them a go okay just had a super exciting delivery arrive just behind me. So excited, can't wait to show you. So I am currently kind of reorganizing the salon a little bit, not a lot. So over here, I've got a new cart that I got from Ikea. And then I'm also trying to reorganize my shelving. I'm running out of room basically for all my gel polish. So I've had to reshuffle these. If you go back into some of my past salon vlogs, you will see what it looked like before. So I've running out of shelving. So that guy is going to have to go. And then I'm going to have that whole shelf full of shelving and racks for all my gel polishes too. So it's all needing a bit of a rejig. I've also ordered some more of these clear racks here so I can put some more 
behind up here and then also another one here and maybe i might continue them up on the wall here so i'm actually doing a little organized with me for this guy so i've got a video coming hopefully soon of me organizing my little cart full of nail bits and bobs but i needed some new racks and stuff so i've ordered them and that is what these guys are may as well unbox these bad boys before my next client gets here and then i might when i finished work tonight vlog putting them up and getting my polishes organized i'm literally so excited organization is like my favorite thing so i've already opened these and what's in here is this guy here there's six of these and they are the acrylic shelves that screw onto the wall they're covered in a protective plastic so all you need to do is peel that off and then as you can see on the back here it's got little holes and then you just drill it into the wall and then you get a pack of six and i think they're between 15 to 20 pounds on amazon and i just type in acrylic nail varnish wrap and found these the next two boxes have the same things in them So this is what I'm talking about. It's shelving like this. So it sits like that and you have five rows where you can put your polishes on. This is by far the most compact and most effective way of storing gel polish that I found. It means that I can fit a lot of polishes into one area which is great i can fit 10 of the gel bottle link colors on each row so it means i can store 50 colors on one of these shelves and if you know the gel bottle link colors you know that they have massive bottles so they can fit quite a lot and then the magpie gels i think i can fit about 12 of the magpie gels along here yeah these are really effective and then you just have the sides in here and they're really easy to assemble which is also a positive they just go like this and then you just attach them onto the edge like that with a couple of screws and you've got your little shelving unit so yeah when i finish work tonight i'm going to have a little reorganize and a rejig and sort out that area where all my polishes are and kind of get ready for some new gel colors to make some space for some new gel colour collections and stuff. But yeah, my client will be here any second, so I'm just gonna tidy up the mess and get rid of some of these boxes. <laughs> so I've just finished two clients that I had in. Pick up. I always leave my mask there when I'm not working so it reminds me to put it on so I can protect myself from all the dust and all that jazz. thought I'd quickly mention something because a few people have asked me this and I thought it was quite an interesting thing to talk about. I've had a few questions of people ask me, do I post on Instagram or take photos of every single set of nails I do? And the answer to that is no. I probably take photos of probably about 30 to 40% of the nails I do, because quite often I don't have time to take photos. The Instagram accounts I follow and like is the ones that have really cool sets of nails on. So I don't want to clog up my feed with loads of plain sets of nails. That being said i do still take pictures of plain sets of nails if there's like a new color that i've tried and i've done a full set of nails of one color and it's a new color that i haven't posted yet i will post on my instagram and take a photo because it's nice to show off the new colors then my clients can see and other people can see interesting what do you guys do do you take pictures of every single set of nails you do or do you take pictures of most or some and also i just wanted to mention in terms of vlogs i won't be able to take pictures or vlog every single set of nails i do i do about five to ten sets of nails a day depending on what they want depending if they're having extensions or just gel polish nail art no nail art so it would be a lot to take pictures of everyone's set of nails every day i'd have i just wouldn't have time to post them all and i don't have time to vlog or video it all so i'm sorry if this vlog is a little bit boring so far because i've got two more clients today i've got my break now so i've got an hour and a half which is nice to have something to eat a late lunch early dinner kind of thing and i will vlog some of my next two clients because they normally have some nail art so they'll be fun so yeah so hopefully i should have some footage for the rest of this vlog well the rest of today for this vlog but yeah i'll catch you later bye sorry for all the rambling
my eyes are also different colours. I don't know if you've noticed that before. They look really different actually right now. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'm going to go eat some food. Bye! Am I looking after baby B? <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being a good girl for grandma? Are you? Yes. Well mummy has some lunch. So cute. I'm just editing whilst I'm eating my lunch the abstract tutorial. This will already be up on my channel. So if you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box down below on this tutorial. I just created a load of different abstract designs. They looked, they turned out quite cool. They're really cool. So I'm just finishing off editing this guy. I need to voice over it. I'll probably have to do that tonight after I finish work because I won't have time to do that now. But yeah, I'm going to continue to edit this and hopefully get most of it done. And then I just need to voice over it and schedule it to go up tomorrow morning and whilst I do that I'm also going to eat my food it's just a fajita with peppers and onions and some vegetable stick things as well yum so I'm gonna eat this and edit and I'll catch you later So I've just finished work. You can always tell when it's the end of the day because my lipstick's all smudged from where I wear a mask. It kind of goes all up my face. So apologies for that. But yeah, I've just finished work today. It's kind of an early night for me. I finished at seven, so that's quite nice. Um, I, I didn't get much footage filmed. I took a little video of my second to last set. So I'm debating whether I should go live on Instagram to sort out my nails. They have been on, if it will focus. There we go. So my nails have been on for four weeks now. So I really need to do them. Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing a live video of doing my own nails tonight. But I've actually still got to finish editing tomorrow's video to go up. I haven't done the voiceover. I haven't done the thumbnail or anything like that. So I need to get that done tonight because it's going up tomorrow morning. Live video might not happen tonight. Let's see what the rest of my week looks like in my diary. Hmm, I might be able to do a live video on Thursday night actually. So I might do a live on Thursday night when I finish work and do my nails then. Yeah, we'll see when it gets to Thursday if I actually do that or not. So yeah, just finished work. Pretty good day today. Did some funky sets to end off with i'm gonna sign off now i'm just gonna finish my day i'm gonna drop my grandma off because she's been up here looking after beatrice and my mum and been looking after us all really so she's she's a star i'm gonna drop her home have some dinner and then get on with some editing i will see you tomorrow which is wednesday grandma yes. are you ready to go home i am ready to go home whenever you are <laughs> You're funny, aren't you? I am funny, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I totally forgot to show you me putting these together and then putting them up there and sorting my gel polishes out. So it's currently 20 past nine. Still Tuesday, still Tuesday. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. I'm just gonna put them together. So I'm gonna fast forward it all. One guy done, and that is full, so no more Premier Gel colours for Izzy. <laughs> Can't buy any more. I need to get the other one up there, and then I'll be moving these Madame Glam polishes into here because I've got some new ones coming, so I need some more room. And then this might have to be another gel bottle ink row because as you can see, I'm very full here. Things are gonna have to have another rejig. This might have to change around actually. We'll see. Okay, so I've organised it. So all of my gel bottle ink colours are on the bottom. I now have a spare shelf there for all the new colours that are coming out. And then a little bit of room down there. And then up here I've got my magpie colours. And then I've got room for some more new magpies at the back there. And then I've also got my ugly duckling colours here. 
and a couple of spaces at the ends for that collection to grow. Then up on this shelf, which is kind of the one that's changed the most, I've got on the left all my Premier Gel colours. In the middle, I've got my Kiara Sky polishes. It's a pretty new brand to me. I've only discovered it recently at a nail show. So that is growing slowly. And then I also have all my beautiful Madame Glam polishes there with a little bit of room to grow. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way it looks. But I don't know what to do when I run out of space. That's the only thing. Hello, everyone. So welcome to today. Today is Wednesday the 23rd of Jan. I've just had my first client come and go. My next one's at 12, so I'm gonna have a bite to eat before she arrives and get some photos posted on Instagram and Facebook and reply to a couple of work emails. So I've just finished work. It's currently 10 past nine. <laughs> and I've just seen my client out the door. She's also, oh my God, I've gone bright like a vampire. She's also a really good friend and also a nail tech. She's recently trained to become a nail tech. So that's exciting. And she's just started out. She's doing really well. I did just go live on Instagram. So if you saw that live video with Kirsty's Nail Den and we did her nails and we did bright orange with lips with Julie glitter and like XOXO. If you ever miss me on YouTube and want to see more stuff from me, go follow my Instagram account, Isabel My Nails. I do loads of live videos and things like that all the time. So today was good. Ended on some cool sets of nails. Hopefully tomorrow, is a day full of fun sets of nails and I'll get a little bit more filmed for you. I'm gonna tune out now and go have my dinner and go and get into bed. But yeah, I hope you guys are all good and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Hello guys, happy Thursday the 24th of January. I've had a cancellation, which sucks, but it's okay. It was, she did cancel yesterday. She gave me 24 hours notice, but it's not 24 hours. It isn't really enough time to fill the gap, if that makes sense, like get someone else in. So I feel like I need to make my cancellation. I think about 48 hours to give me two days at least. But it, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's fine. I've just had a really quick lunch break and my last client of today asked if she could come earlier. So because I had a cancellation, she can now come earlier so I can finish a little bit earlier, which is nice. So I'll be finished, I think around five o'clock today, which is weird. It doesn't happen. I normally finish work at about seven being the earliest. Normally it's eight, eight thirty. So it's really nice that I'm gonna be finished more so towards five. I'm excited. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a live video of doing my nails because I still haven't done them, but I'm not sure if I'll get around to it. So this might be all you see of me from today. It's not been a very exciting day. I feel like all this vlog has been is me talking. I don't feel like I've actually got any footage of me working and doing nails this week, which is mental, but I keep forgetting I'm vlogging this week. <laughs> So my last vlog, I said that I was going to do a giveaway at 25,000 subscribers, and that is happening. I'm collecting together some bits for the 25,000 subscriber giveaway. We are currently at 22,736 subscribers. So only a few more to go until, well, I say only a few more to go, another 2,264 to go. But when we get there, hopefully we will, I um, will do a giveaway. So that will be exciting. Just a little giveaway to say thank you. I wish I could give you all something, especially you guys that watch all my videos and comment and support me. I'm so grateful.
literally just about to go live on Instagram because I finished work early today. So I'm going to do an Insta live of doing my own nails and kind of a little organise of the salon, maybe. So I'm just going to go live now. So let's get Instagram up. Hi everyone! If you're not watching live, then hi for the future from the past. Feel free to ask any questions. I think this is going to be a pretty chilled live. I wanted to sort some stuff out in the salon and I also want to do my nails. So I think I might do a bit of both in this live. Who knows what I get achieved in this live video. I'm also vlogging this week on my YouTube channel. Here's a little bit of inception for you. Is that the right word, inception? I'm not really sure. But so I'm vlogging for my YouTube channel on here this week, doing a little salon vlog, weekly salon vlog. Can't speak. So I thought I'd a little bit of inception. This will be on my weekly vlog on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I've just finished the live video on Instagram and I did these nails. So you saw the before and this is the after. I'll insert a picture as well. Did some leopard print with some mustard and a little bit of rose gold. Did more of a ballerina coffin shape. I really like how they turned out. Head on over and follow me on Instagram because I do lots of live videos on there and you can see a lot more of me if you want to. I'm going to end the vlog here. It is now 10 to 10. I've just been sorting out all my my nail desk trying to clear up ready for the start of tomorrow i've got my really good friend in tomorrow morning so i can't wait to see her and yeah i'll see you tomorrow bye i've just realized i've just said goodbye to you guys and i had gel polish all up my face here sparkly rose gold gel polish <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm such a mess <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow night my first client who's also my really good friend we did some cool gemstone nails they turned out quite cute i'm going to have my lunch now and i've had a cancellation so i get a long lunch which is good because i have stuff to do i need to start editing next week's youtube video and also i've got a couple of emails that i need to do to respond to people and messages i need to reply to so that gives me the chance to do that so i'm just sitting down on my break trying to get on with some bits and bobs me and Bia sitting together. I've brought her over here. Arthur's over there as well. That's Arthur, the family dog. And then this is Bibi. Bibi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. So me and B are just sitting with each other. She's on the sofa. So we're just sitting over here trying to get some boring bits done, really. Well, they're not boring. I kind of enjoy the paperwork side of being self-employed. Now that I've got time, I'm gonna sit down, I've got my iPad and my diary and everything that I need over there. So I'm gonna try and get some stuff organized and planned. So I have my diary that I use to put client appointments in. They all go in there. And then I also have this guy, and I don't know if any of you do it, but it's called a bullet journal. I've been bullet journaling for three years now, and I absolutely love it. It keeps me really productive. Sometimes I'm not productive whatsoever, I'm not motivated at all where are you off to trouble where are you off to oh, lovely thanks why you cute you cute so B has her week checkup for her operation today. Nick's taking her later because I'm working. So cross fingers, everything's gone well and it's healing like it's supposed to be. So I've got a bullet journal. It's a plain notepad that you do whatever you want to. And it's really good for helping you stay motivated and be productive. So mine, I just stuck 2019 on the front. And then I put this gorgeous little print in the front. And then you kind of just add in what you want. So I got this postcard when I went to France and I just stuck a really cute little quote on it. Really cute. And yeah, you kind of just do exactly what you want to do inside it. It's just blank pages with dotted lines. So I added the months and then I'm going to write down things that are going on in each month. Then I've got like my goals and things for the year. I've done a year in photos. So each month I'm going to put a sticker photo in that summarises the, the month for me. Then I've also got my tracking page. So I'm tracking my YouTube growth my Instagram, my Facebook. That's what the pages look like when there's nothing on them. And then you add what you want. Then I've got my first monthly tracker and you will notice that I love 
washi tape. So I've got my first month January, which we're in now. I find that this keeps me really productive and I love it for organising and sorting myself out. And it's really easy because you can do exactly what you want. You can lay it out exactly how you like, which is really good for me. There's no rules or whatever. And I like to get a bit arty in it. I'm, I like to do drawings in it and paint and cut and stick and collage. So they get quite fat by the end of the year. My other one was like this big because I paint in it and do all kinds of things but yeah who else bullet journals i love bullet journaling i'm so glad i found it i've just ordered this bag of really cheap rings off of aliexpress i think they're around one to two pounds for probably about 12 rings and i got two packs I think all in all I spent three pounds or something. I never thought they were going to arrive because I've been waiting for about three to four weeks now but they turned up today and the reason why I got them was to go on my Glamalis realistic practice hand. So I've used this in videos and tutorials before but this is another look at it for those of you who haven't seen. It's by Glamalis. So I wanted to add a couple of rings onto the hand to make it look cool for photos and I love how it looks. It's so cool. I'm going to buy a ton more rings for props for photos and that kind of thing and for the price of them they're really cheap why not i think it looks so cute does any of you have practice hands and do you jazz your practice hands up by adding some rings to them how real is that hand i mean there's my hand next to it you would think that you've got two real hands next to each other oh my god so creepy end of the week it is friday the 25th of january and it's currently five to nine i've just been sitting down with my diary i finished about half eight today and i've just been sitting down with my diary catching up with messages to clients and replying to messages i'm pretty much all caught up now with that kind of thing i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog even though this vlog is going to be long enough because i talk too much thank you so much for watching if you watched right until until the end and yeah I'll see you in my next vlog or see you in my next video bye